Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the first race in the 2020 NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series playoffs as we get ready for 84 laps of action around Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is the second time we're coming to Charlotte this season, and if you couldn't tell, the track looks a lot different. Um, so hopefully, with that pit wall gone, we don't see any issues entering pit road. I'm joined for the start of the Digital Storm Cup Series playoffs by my man, Vince Freeze. It's been a wild regular season, Zach. We're here in the Queen City of Charlotte. We got an interesting front row. We got playoff guys all spread out. And of course, the usual pit strategy, like every other week. The 16 drivers entered the first round of three races, Charlotte, Memphis, and Chicagoland. And after this first three race round we will be down to 12 if you win today as a playoff driver you automatically advance to the next round otherwise you'll have to worry about points you don't want to be 13th or lower in the points and of course playoff points will carry through the entire time a driver is in the playoffs let's get you to your starting lineup on the front row is a pair of non-playoff drivers dylan young and jesse turner Looking at the stat sheet here really quickly, I'm going to try and see. I believe this is Dylan Young's third pole. It indeed is. And that ties Matthew Logan with the most on the season. So congratulations, Dylan Young, on tying the current season mark. Row two is your first playoff driver, Adam Flickinger. Next to him, another winner that missed out, Rob Evans. Dylan Young, of course, winning at Auto Club, missing out on the playoffs. Row 2 is Joshua Sikuli and Tyler Fink, winner from Rockingham in the playoffs. Row 4, two-time winner Matthew Logan and Alexander Rowe, winner from Indy. And then in row 5 is three-time winner on the year Jeff Toledo. And last week's all-star race winner, Nico Tringali. So 16 drivers come into the uh, playoffs looking for a championship, and it will be a new champion, 2017 champ Caleb Hoffman, not running the series this year, and two-time champion Johnny Gardner of the last two seasons, failing to make the playoffs. He has not won through 27 races this year, and you've got to wonder if the two-time champ can get a win at all in these last 10 races. We'll find all that in more Jerky Pro Truck Series off this weekend. Let's get the command the fire engines. Drivers, start your engine! As the command has been given, looking at some brief race history. 2017 race, we had four cautions. 2018 race, we had two. And in the race earlier this year, we also had two. It's only an 84-lap event. It will go down as the second shortest race in history. The 2017 race was an 80-lap affair. The 2018 race, 140, and the one earlier this year, 120. So just to quickly recap, going through the playoff grid, Andrew Rich and Jeff Toledo are at the top of the board with three wins. Then you've got Samet Oskin, your regular season champ, along with two-time race winners Alex Gray, Seth Cole, and Matthew Logan. And then a bunch of one-race winners on the season. Fitzwater, Fink, McShane, Moore, Rowe, Ace Rogers, Brommer, Zorlin, Shelley, and Adam Flickinger. With the battle for 17th in the points, it comes down to Nate Rogers, 58 points ahead of Johnny Gardner. And roughly... 102 points over Austin Colano as Dylan Young and Jesse Turner will lead us to the green flag. Here they come off a of three and a four. Dylan Young, third time to be on the pole this season. Jesse Turner looking for some momentum for Roush. As they get to the restart zone in a couple seconds. Lights are on and we are green at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And man, the first three, first three rows on the bottom got such a good start that Tyler Fink was able to drop right to the bottom. 
So far, Dylan Young leads the Smith three and four. And coming off a of turn four that we see Austin clip the wall. That's going to be a trouble spot if you're three wide. It tends to get slick right near the wall. You come off a of turn four, it can get dangerous. Dylan Young with that outside run. We talked about the lines a little bit as they uh, continue to shuffle down the back straightaway. Let's see which lines prevail, especially on the older the older the cars and tires get down the road. See the 11. It's cool. We just go blazing on that outside. And it's definitely going to be tough to pass today. Tire uh, pit strategy will definitely be a big play in the race. As Sakuli, you see, holds off Turner running the top side. And with a big run as Dylan Young leads. Adam Flickinger second. Jesse Turner fourth. Fink in fifth. Jeff Toledo is sixth. All-star winner Nico Tringali, 7th. Rob Evans, 8th. As Sanford and Rowe will fight out for ninth. Pretty wide there. It's Kev Shearer on the bottom. Shearer backing out. It's Matthew Logan on the outside. Draft does play a little bit of a role here at Charlotte. Not too much, but a little draft down the straight can be a little different. There's a row. You see Sanford, <clears throat> Sanford and Rowe trying to fight past Rob Evans, but Sanford entering way too low. Really had to yeah. check up. Yeah, Sanford hit the apron just for a slight second there. There's Rowe sends that in. And Alexander Rowe will send it right past Charles Sanford in three and four. So at the front, Jeff Toledo trying to get by Tyler Fink. And man, these drivers are really hugging that apron going into turn one. Nico Tringali is actually going to pass Toledo on the outside. You got it. You got to Hold the momentum. This is a momentum-based racetrack. Clip on the apron, you'll lose a couple miles per hour, especially in the middle of the corners. We got a battle for the lead with Young and Flickinger. Flickinger was looking low, but it looks like Young held him off on the top side. There it is again. Turner just clipped the apron. I saw it. You just, just lose the momentum. And you see now Alexander Rowe, I think, is the only one I've seen really making the bottom work. I can just send that in the three or four. He's the master of the send. The 99 car is the only car for Roush Fenway Racing in the playoffs in 2020. Last season, I want to say it was, I don't even know if anyone made it oh. last season. As Tringali and Jeff Toledo were really hugging the apron there, they're going to lose positions to Rowe and Evans. The banking, where it says 24 degree banking in the clip that you see. Williams coming. The, you clip that apron, it's almost like a rough patch down there with the side skirts so you can't go too far down let's see watch Toledo here we'll stay on, kind of on board this TV one shot but let's see if he clips it and he just yeah, does there it is. Yeah. him and Corey Williams so far pretty strung out at the front Adam Flickinger not going anywhere from Dylan Young as the rookie out of Sack Flickinger Racing looking to get an early win here in the playoffs. Ten laps into a run. Let's see how far that tire window, that uh, tire fall off could be. Nine laps about in. Already already about six tenths half. of a second here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's substantial for about ten laps in. We'll take a look at the fastest laps here on the first run. It goes to Tringali with a 28.606. Also under a 28-7 is Jesse Turner and Joshua Sakuli. We've got four rookies in the top five. It could turn to three because Alexander Rowe, even though he just clipped the bottom there, he really sent it in well. And Turner might have done the same thing too. Alexander Rowe actually kept pretty even there with the quarter panel on Tyler Fink despite 
clipping that apron. And you can just see right there on entry of three, Alexander Rowe right back to the bumper of the 34. Catching the two in front, even with the battle. Watch Rowe here. Send it in again, clip the apron again. Backs out a little bit. He's still been the best car we've seen all day. Still keep the uh, distance, though. If strategy falls the right way, Alexander Rowe could turn out to be today's winner. He got the pull here back in 2017 for Stuart Haas Racing and went on to finish that race in second place behind Michael Amato. As his battle is... Two Roush, Roush cars battling for positions here. Rowe with Tyler Fink. Jesse Turner with Sakuli and Turner actually held it even with the 11, and he's going to pass Joshua Sakuli for third. I think Rowe's going to do the same thing for fifth. And Nico yep. Tringali is right on his bumper. Uh, something about those Roush cars, I guess they like that bottom line. They can uh, ease that transition into the banking from banking to flat. We talked about how Red Bull Racing will be switching to Toyota in 2021. So Audi will be without a team next year, and Audi will likely want to get at least a win from either Tringali or Nate Rogers before the season's up. They got five wins last year as Fink is fighting back on Alexander Rowe for position. This will be the first time we see Fink in the one and two. See how he handles that one and two apron. Wow, Rowe on the top. No need for it. Meanwhile, the top two have continued to pull away. It's the Dylan Young and Adam Flickinger show. And if it continues to be like this, one pitting before the other is really going to be a big factor. The pit window, I want to say, is about lap 30 to lap 33. If this thing goes green start to finish, everyone's going to have to pit at least twice. But that final third stint on your tires, you're not going to need to stretch out that second stint. You're going to want to pit as soon as you're in the window. Just sell and play the fuel for it all. That's the only thing. Just sell and play the fuel strategy and take less fuel in the last stop. We'll find out. Adam Fleckinger had a really bad one and two so much that he lost about four, four tenths of a second maybe on Dylan Young. Jesse Turner starting to inch away in third is now Alexander Rowe. Fights with Sakuli for fourth. Tringali's right there in sixth. Jeff Toledo in eighth. And Charles Sanford in ninth have creeped up to the pack as Rob Evans rounds out the top ten. Tringali's going to make a move on Alexander Rowe here for fifth place. I think Sakuli might have uh, held up Tringali just a little bit. Now Tringali's going under Sakuli. Let's see. Does Tringali hold it on the bottom and sends it in there? He sent it in there pretty the well. Sakuli with the run back on the outside, but ooh, look, it gets tight on Sakuli right at corner exit. And Tringali's under him. I think Roll sends it. Yep, yeah, he's been the best at that all day, sending it in on three and four. So Tringali and Roe will get by Sakuli. That'll put them in some clean space unless they start fighting it out, which it looks like Alexander. Doesn't want to be held up by anybody today. But he will not get there. And that checkup will give Tringali a little bit of breathing room. As let's go through the Reading order. We're about 10 laps away from pit stops. So we should get an idea of where all our playoff drivers are at. So in the top 10, Flickinger in second. Adam Flickinger, that is. Alexander Rowe, fifth. Fink in seventh. Jeff Toledo is eighth. Those are the playoff contenders in the top 10. Corey Williams is currently the last driver in the in the top 10 in 10th place. So we see Casey Nanico here in 11th. There is Seth Cole fighting Kev Shear for position. Quinton Moore right behind him with Fitzwater, Alex Gray, and Samet Oskin just inside the top 20. There's fastest in happy hours, Zach Rogers. He started 39th. He's made his way up to 23rd, Vince. He's got the fast car. I think that first run's me, right? I guess he just got by those cars in the back, and he saved his tires well. 
Matthew Logan is running 24th. I could have sworn he started top 10. So things are not going well for the 38. Jonathan Zorlin right behind him in 25th. Zorlin won this race in 2018. Ace Rogers also just inside the top 30. As there's two-time champion Johnny Gardner battling it out with James Shelley. I believe that's for 30th. As we see Andrew Rich has not been able to go anywhere. He's 34th. Keith Rich actually has door damage. So does Peter oh, Onjak. Johnny Gardner. Johnny Gardner way on the eighth. Gardner lost a ton of positions right there. Priya McShane started last. She has not been able to make a lot of headway. As Nate Rogers came in 17th in points. The man he's fighting, Johnny Gardner, right in front of him. Austin Colano is over 100 points out. He's running, I believe, just outside the top 10, as we saw. And Ryan Brommer Bubble. is actually a little ways off this pack. But it does not appear he has any damage, so perhaps just clipping the apron there in one and two and losing a ton of time. Back in the front that we have Dylan Young Flickinger. It's been the show all day. About two tenths has been the gap consistently as the second pack is trying to hunt down these two. And if they can pass Jesse Turner, I wonder if Nico Tringali and Alexander Rowe can give the top two something worth challenging. They've been the two inside the top 10. We've seen them really be able to dive it into the corners. You can see it right there. Tringali all yeah. over the bumper of Turner off of turn four. I think Turner might be the weak link in the group here. As here comes Tringali. Let's see what happens in the one and two. It's going to clip the apron. We have a caution on start. the racetrack. Caution oh. lights are on. Does not appear that the top five have raced back. This changes everything now. Tringali's going to take the position from Turner here. We'll see if Alexander Rowe gets by him too. As there are a ton of cars on pit road. And it was a huge one here in the quad oval. And there's cars still stopped. Oh, and Turner That's had nowhere to go. Oh, we got a big one. Oh, oh it's Toledo. no. Jeff Toledo's involved. Casey Nanico. There and there's a flip. They were still wrecked so cool at the exit of the quad oval. Look at all the cars on pit road. Jesse Turner, Sekouli, Jeff Toledo, Sanford, Wes McCoy, Jose Mills, Ace Rogers, Jessica Shelton, Ryan Brommer, Andrew Rich, Sack Rogers, Priya McShane, William Flickinger with damage. Dylan Young will up. lead him in the pit road, but there are, my oh, goodness, Shelley. James Shelley is destroyed. LJ Toledo. Toledo yeah. Matthew Logan. Oh, Zach, that's the big one in Charlotte. We did not see that come. Massive destruction here at Charlotte Motor Speedway on lap 25, leading into 26. Football also, as we see the pit stops. As the helicopter shot sees more guys coming in. But Dylan Young, first stall. Let's see if that plays advantage. Watch from the top of the grandstands here. And it looks like Dylan Young will remain first one at a pit road. Adam Flickinger second. Tringali third. Fink and Rowe. That is the top five. So we're under caution here at lap 27 of 84. This will mean that the next time these drivers pit could be anywhere from lap 57 to lap 60. So that'll expand the third run just a bit if this thing goes green from this point forward. But let's take a look and see what brought out the first caution of the day. Taking a look at the first caution on the day, and I think it starts with this three wide here with Evans, Moore, and Fitzwater, all teammates. Evans is actually going to slide back next to Deaver and McCoy, who are already side-by-side. -side. Evans hits the wall and a Deaver. McCoy has pretty much nowhere to go. He's a long forward into the grass they go. Right here, the wreck has started. Deaver is going to save it 
as Evans and McCoy slide through the grass. And then I don't even know what happens here. McCoy takes off right into the 97. And it's on from here. The track is pretty much blocked. Ace Rogers into the 65. Shelton into the 43. And it is Shelly, Rich, Kukulon on. Gardner, Markle. Here comes Rogers. Bree McShane's coming. Robert with nowhere to go. It is just a parking lot as Brahmer's the last one to pile in. My goodness gracious. What an incident that was. It's just cars stopped everywhere. And then we accelerate forward right here as they Coach take Turf. the yellow. Rich and Mills are still trying to get back going. Tringali is just going to miss Jose Mills, but Turner, not so lucky, right in the Andrew Rich. Those Rich cars over. teleport away. Sakuli clips Turner right there. And then Sanford, Jeff Toledo have nowhere to go. Turner. Turner's on his lid. And then Nanako's the last one in it. And he just clips Charles Sanford right there and tips him over down the banking. But good days gone bad. We're going to take a ton of onboards in this one. On board with Jonathan Zorlin. Wow. And I actually got a little piece of that. But I think relatively unscathed for the five of Zorlin. On board with the 64 of Ace Rogers. Nowhere to go. On board with Andrew Rich. You think it's over? It's not over. Rich trying to get the car back going. But just so many cars stopped in the track. And the leaders are coming. Right about now. And Rich gets hit and instantly toes. This is racing back to the caution. Watch what happened to Jeff Toledo's good run. Good run gone bad. Last on board with Wes McCoy. Let's watch this Ford Fusion take lift off. What an insane wreck for the 43. Getting ready to go back green. Disaster strikes here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We'll have 29 laps complete on the day out of 84. And that'll leave us with 50, 55 laps left on the race. So everybody's still got to pit one more time. Let's go over your DNFs. Charles Sanford, Jeff Toledo, Joshua Sakuli, and Jesse Turner involved. In the aftermath, coming back to the yellow. Out from the initial wreck, Johnny Garter, Peter Onjak, Wes McCoy, Zach Rogers, Jessica Shelton, Rob Evans, LJ Toledo, Ace Rogers, James Shelley, Andrew Rich, William Flickinger, Priya McShane, and Ryan Brommer. We're going back green. Dylan Young still leads. Adam Flickinger second. Tringali third. Fink fourth. Rowe fifth. Seth Cole has made it into the top 10. He's in 7th with Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in 10th. Green flags out. Dylan Young leads us back. Let's see who drops down low. It's not the preferred. Is that Seth Cole? Seth Cole was the first one to make the move. The top 6 will clear the lap traffic of Logan and Mills. And look at Sorlin on the outside gaining a ton of positions from this right now. But Logan will oh, move boy. to the outside. We'll see who's slower between the 38 and the 18. It looks like it's the 38. 18 looks up the speed board in the 38. Let's go to get the inside some free spots. 
Let's have Cole underneath Mills. If he can get around, that could be huge. Sorlin's gonna drop down. It's gonna be three wide here in the turn oh, one. Early. <laughs> Logan York will back out. That'll put it back two wide. As the field begins to spread out, Samet Oskin getting held up from this. He's got some back end damage from the accident. It appears that over half the field was involved in some shape or form. Unbelievable. So Seth Cole has actually been unable to pass Jose Mills. I'm not sure how much damage the 18 oh. actually has. But Mills is not making it easy. We'll go up to the top six. Dylan Young's pulling away. But Tringali is trying to get by Adam Flickinger. Saw the 84 and the 99 had a lot of speed on that first run, but now it's not so easy. And how about Austin Colano up here in sixth place? As again, we've only got 25 cars left on the track. The second pack looks aggressive back there with Mills, but telling they're still dicing it up as we see the leaders break away. <laughs> Single file so far in the top six as Adam Flickinger is trying to hunt back down Dylan Young. So he gained a couple cents there. Yeah, two cents. Pitting early if this thing goes green could be the race winning call. It would not be a full run. Lap 57 to lap 60 would be 24 to 27 laps, so that would not be so, a full third run. We saw six tenths of fall off, and we have green flag stretch, and by the time we got that caution, it was probably almost a second. So pinning early definitely the key, as uh, the top six, like I said, still single file. It was likely more than a second. We'll check for sure when they get to lap 45. Right now, no real signs of fall off just yet comes Fink underneath Tringali. Fink looking for third place. It looks like he's gonna get it. Let's see if anybody knew a set of fast time. Tringali's still with the best time on the board. Dylan Young, Adam Flickinger, Jesse Turner, Sekuli, Cole Deaver all under a 28-7. Tyler Fink with that move will move up to third place. We've got three playoff drivers here in the top five. A total of five in the top ten. Seth Cole seventh, Fitzwater ninth. Good points, days for those guys. Oh, as Jose Quinn Mills has been passed, so his damage is finally showing. Jonathan Zorlin has made it up the thirteenth. After the mayhem, we've got a heck load of Hendrick drivers actually right here. Forty-eight, twenty-four, and the five. And the 88 is still on track too, but he is farther back. It's a little breakaway, Quinton Moore underneath. Quinton Moore, another playoff driver looking for ninth on his teammate. But the apron though, and that's gonna get Fitzwater a little run. And Fitzwater gets a little tight, but no. He will hold the position for now. Ferranti's going to look to Quinton Moore's outside. As Kev Shearer dives it in. What a run for the 24. Driven by Hendrick. Michael Amato to a win in 2017. Hedrick Brigade right there at the top 10 winger. As Shearer will try and pass Ferranti. We'll see Ferranti with a huge outside run. And it looks like with tire age, Vince, what I've noticed is that the bottom in one and two, that checkup, it hurts you less once the tires get older. Fresh, it's just more sticky. They got more of that grip where it's as they age. It uh, doesn't affect the, the runs. We have a battle possibly for the lead as Flickinger has cut that gap two tenths. We'll have to check that out in a second as Ferranti continues to hold off his teammates. Ooh, but a little tight there off the of turn two. Seems like a, we've been noticing this. Quinn and Moore tries to get underneath Fitzwater. That tight off two and then loosen a little bit into one. Alex Gray looking up for position on Zorlin. They're fighting all around right here outside and in the top ten. It's Quinton Moore side by side with his teammate. 
Zachary Fitzwater Sr. for ninth, and he will take it on corner entry. Does Fitzwater battle back? Pretty even, off for two. Now, which way does Ferranti go? Oh, and Quinton oh. Moore makes contact on entry with Fitzwater. You can see the door damage. Oh, and he gets oh. in the wall, and Ferranti gets clipped. Oh, jeez. Fitzwater uh, will lose a ton of positions. I don't think Fitzwater is going to be happy with uh, Quinton Moore, his teammates. Quinton Moore sent it, and Fitzwater thought he was clear. And then things got crazy. Ferranti might have some damage, too. And we're lucky that was not an accident. Ferrani's car appears to be clean. That'll put him in 10th place. But Quentin Moore, aggressive move there on his teammate. Meanwhile, talking of teammates, Seth Cole racing, Seth Cole, Corey Williams, 7th and 8th. Moving towards 6th place, Austin Colano. That's the back of this lead pack that initially broke away. Alexander Rowe running in fifth, Tringali fourth. As it looks like, it's really just Dylan Young and Adam Flickinger right now once again, Vince. Flickinger going to yeah, so check far, up. Yeah, so far, I was going to say, I mean, Dylan Young seems to have that control, got that control on the field, but we'll see. We're getting close to the tires aging, so... Let's see if lap traffic will be a player today. It looks like Matthew Logan will definitely be a factor before this thing is over. These guys are kind of in the way, but not so much. I think it's just going to be a 38 for now. See Logan York, no hood, no back end. Nate Rogers, Rogers has back end. Yep. Nate, Nate Rogers, Casey Nanico, also with some form of damage. Keith Rich is here at the back with a destroyed back bumper. Carter Friesen without a hood. Samet Oskin without a back bumper. Markle's car appears clean, but I believe he might have some kind of performance issue there as we see Fitzwater with door damage on either side. We'll have to see if the team decides to fix that on his pit stop as Kukulon is trying to get by the lap car of Mills. Alex Gray all over Kev Shearer. That is for 11th place. Gray sends it in. Deaver fighting with Zorlin for, I believe, 13th. A little bit loose off the exit as Kev Shear fights back on the outside. Now that we're in the run, let's see how that, yeah, just a little bit of a touch of the apron as Kev Shear gets a nice run on the outside. We get tight a little bit off it, too. Keeps him even. Let's see, looking at Alex Ferranti, how big is that fall off now? It's about a second and a half, 20 laps into the run. Makes sense. That's a, we saw 10, the initial, about a second, 20 laps, second and a half. That work is, it caught it. Seth Cole and Williams have caught the back of Colano and Rowe. And here they are right now, trying to inch their way towards the top five run. Rowe and Colano appear to be a lot slower this stint, especially Dylan Young's lead is no more. Oh, and yes, indeed, you are right. Adam Flickinger has made it by the two car. First time all race. Let's see if Young, well, Young might fight back here in a one. Let's see. Dylan Young going nowhere so far. Adam Flickinger uh, was on the bubble for a lot of the regular season after he got that win at North Wilkesboro. But today he's showing why he deserves to be in the playoffs as he leads at Charlotte. But Dylan Young all over his back bumper. Well, now here comes Fink as these guys continue just to do a little draft train. Fink is closing his, his teammate. Fink's teammate Logan's up ahead. Is Dylan Young? Oh, no. Dylan Young trying to go for the bottom, clipping the apron a little bit there. That's going to give Flickinger some space. But Matthew Logan is right ahead. That'd be a good move by Young just to hold back a little bit. Who the lap car does. Tyler Fink now approaching the picture. That's his teammate up there. Front row motorsports. Could they work together here? Let's see, we see any team orders as uh, Flickinger 
will be the first one to approach. 34 laps to go there at the start finish line. Wilkinger might catch him in a three and four at a fast spot. I hope he'll get him there easily. Might get pinched down oh. just a wee bit mid corner. But he should have the horsepower here on exit. Key is, is he touched that apron. If he doesn't, then he's good. If not, Dylan Young get around. Yep. The lap car will be absolutely... Oh, they both touched the apron. Okay. Uh, just a wee bit there. They hit that white line. They didn't hurt him too much. Tyler Fink, though, approaching. He'll make the move on his teammate here in the three. And Tringali is there in fourth. Probably the best way to make a move. As you can see, the 34 is just right behind Young. If Tringali's coming... And Fink and was the able. Car breakaway. Fink was able to pull right past his teammate, and was not held up in the middle of the corner. Stringali will have some issues there on the bottom, but Dylan Young going nowhere. He might have lost the lead, but he's not given up yet. As we're about five laps or less away from that last round of pit stops. Sorry, we get a caution. As these, these leaders will likely have to deal with some more traffic before this race is over. Yeah, they're almost 20 seconds back with another run to go. For sure, we might have some more lap traffic. Tringali finally gets underneath Logan. Tringali was held Dylan up a lot. As Dylan Young is going to make a move for the lead again. He'll dive it into turn three. Coming to 30 to go. Dylan Young off exit so far has him almost clear. Flickinger with a run will lead at the line. And this uh, is going to help. Young. This is going to help Tyler Fink close the gap. So Young, not not a bad entry there. We'll see does Adam Flickinger get tight here. No, he does not. And now Fink with a run on the top side. It's almost like that leader has that bubble of air with that apron almost in a way. Looking at the leaderboard, Austin Colano has fallen to 7th, Seth Cole up to 6th, as Fink will put a move on Dylan Young for 2nd place. I think but he's going was... to either clip the apron or go too low, yeah, too shallow. And that, that move for the position was over before the corner was even, even being en entered. But right now it's a 4-car battle, it's really probably going to come down to who pits when. Fink running top. Dylan Young like says, let's go. <laughs> Dylan Young is going to be the first one down pit road. Oh, we actually had Rodgers come in, freezing. Okay, so the, the, the lines have been drawn. Does Dylan Young is one half fresher tires? There's Kukulon coming in. Markle. We'll watch as Keith Young Rich. comes all the way down to that first pit stall. And Adam Flickinger, Flicking in. Flickinger and Fink will be the next two down. Tringali will stay out along with most of the pack. As Ferranti oh. got in the wall, but oh man, that was so close. Here comes Kev Shearer and Fitzwater also on the pit road. Markle's out. Does he hold up anybody here? No. Nope. Keith Richards out. Oh, a little contact. <laughs> Tringali. Tringali staying on the track. Seth Cole oh. and a lot of others will come to pit road. Alexander Rowe makes a late dive. Ah, where did Dylan Young now is the key for the cycle to work out for him with that one left fresh retire? There's Dylan Young. I think Fitzwater needed to get that damage fixed. I see him a little slow stop. Markle. Here's Tringali, maybe looking for a yellow to catch the field a lap down, but it's he's come coming out. the pit road. Alex Gray, I believe, had also stayed out. He's down the pit. I believe that'll be everybody, and there's the gap from Young to Adam Flickinger. So a great call by Dylan Young to pit a lap early. 
probably going to have a two second, three second lead at this point. Now the only question for Dylan Young is how does he get through lap traffic or do we have another yellow? And if we were to have another yellow now, I don't think anybody else would come to pit road and that would give the tire advantage to Nico Tringali. Go. I still got another lap because of the 84. Yeah, I just saw him in the pit, so I think that's for sure. Dylan Young, P1, and then Fink and... Fitzwater's team electing to fix the damage. We see him here ahead of Dylan Young as Keith Rich seems Keith to have Rich an issue. Now, he'll, come down, he'll come down pit road. It was already damaged to begin with. We'll see if they I fix think we it saw, and return to the track. I think we saw him make contact with Kev Shearer a little bit on pit road. That might have been it. There's Nico Tringali. He falls to eighth, 11 seconds back. But he with the freshest tires on the track, he can only move forward. But Dylan Young leads 2.54 seconds over Adam Flickinger. As Tyler Fink is right there. Kukulon, gonna go low. Kukulon short pit too, and he's moved all the way up to fourth. All of that 29 team. And Alexander Rowan fifth, Keith Rich returns to the track. Seth Cole sixth, Shear seventh, Tringali eighth, Kalano ninth, Gray tenth. As Fink was trying to get by Adam Flickinger for second place. Let's see what these one lap fresher tires do. Let's see for Young. See, he's going to fall off a little bit towards the end. If they can't, so far. if they can't catch Dylan Young for the win, this position will mean a lot, as it's a four-point difference from second to third, and those four points could be huge after Chicagoland is over. Ironically, Dylan Young's whole race. A pair of rookies fighting it out for second. In the playoffs, Rowe 5th, Seth Cole 6th, Gray 10th. So those are the top playoff contenders right now. And you see Flickinger does chop down the gap on Dylan Young about a 10th that lap by. He zags, will those guys stay in place? And what happens with these lap cars? Is Fitzwater already got around Nanico? Nanico is clearly off the pace here. We'll see how Dylan Young handles the 20. It looks like Fitzwater... His car is mostly up to speed, so I do not think Dylan Young will catch him. It appears he has better tires. But the 83.95 will be next up on the board, and maybe even the 38 once again. So we look near the, just outside the top 10. Sorlin in 12th, Williams in 11th. Stringali starting to chop down on the lead himself, but he stayed out too long. I don't think he's going to be able to make up all this time. Four tenths of a second. All over the back of Kukulon. Four tenths of a second that lap from Tringali to race leader Dylan Young. With 19 laps to go. It's just not enough unless the fall off continues to grow for Dylan Young. We get a yellow. If we get a yellow, it could change things too, yes. Seth Cole and Rowe will pass Kukulon. He was damaged already. So pitting to gain some time could work out for him still at the end of this thing. But that'll put Rowe up to fourth, Seth Cole up to fifth. So we've got four playoff drivers in the top five. Eight points days for these guys as long as they keep Here the comes Tringali. Tringali's got a head of steam now. As tires are really falling off. He gained the whole second on Dylan Young that lap. Look he at, is where's he gonna that go? 84 car, man. Yeah, he just needs to get around these guys. I think he could be a player at the end of this day if he can get around there and get a yellow. I don't know if he oh young? Meanwhile. Get around 20? Meanwhile, Dylan Young getting by Nanico. And the lead's down to 1.4 seconds over Adam Flickinger. 
those tires are starting to creep into the degradation zone is uh we got some more lappers that's rich i believe and rogers that's york or york same scheme almost the same scheme <laughs> Dylan Young, 30.0 last time by a 29.7 for Adam Flickinger. Fink has continuously tried to pass the 78. But lap traffic is going to be huge. It could really help Dylan Young because he's got older tires, or it could really hurt him. This game three tenths on Young. He's got to go now. <laughs> Tringali's made it up to six. He's gotten by Shearer and Kukalon down his bucket list is uh, Cole. It's, here we go, Dylan Young. Did he catch him at the right time? Logan York and Nate Rogers for Dylan Young. Traffic in his way to his second career win. Second win of the season it would be too. He'll go underneath oh, Logan York. Apron. He'll clip the apron. Doesn't but matter. I think Flickinger clipped the apron too a little bit, but... He's got the horsepower. This will put two lap down machines between him and Adam Flickinger. And they are right there in a line. Key will be what can Flickinger do? And same with Fink. Because now they're they're catching me in a bad spot right here. It looks like three Flicking, underneath. Flickinger and Young will look low. Both will check up. Adam will keep it underneath Nanako. And Young will Ooh. pull out to lap the 83. I think looked for three wide for a second. He thought better of it as uh, Dylan Young now has three. As a 20 is still fighting back there. And Flickinger will clear Nanako off of turn two. So now how much time can Young gain back? Can he pull away from Adam Flickinger and Fink? They'll pass Logan York before the corner. But they'll clip the apron a little bit there. He was, how can they get around Rodgers? That's the key. We have, is that someone else? That might be Fitzwater. I don't think they're going to catch Fitzwater. Meanwhile, Tringali has made it past Seth Cole for fifth. He's now only 5.3 seconds behind. As he only has Alexander Rowe left to pass, and then all these lap cars. I don't know if Tringali has the time to get to the leaders. As Dylan Young will now have a oh. mirror full of Flickinger and Tyler Fink. Matthew Logan is still well a ways away from being caught again. We're down to no lap or one lap cars. I don't think they're going to get Fitzwater. So it's up to Logan or these guys catch uh, Dylan Young. As Rowe and uh, Tringali are closing. They need, a, they need about a second a lap, though. Ten laps to go. Fink's going to fight for second place again. He got a pretty good run that time. At the apron. Fink hasn't won He's since Rockingham. Rowe is coming, too. He's not that far back. Fink just cannot get it to stick on the bottom in one and two under Flickinger. It looks like he's got the faster car, but it's just not working. Nine to go. Can Dylan Young... Meanwhile, Alexander Rowe and Tringali continue to chop down the lead, but they're approaching Logan York. Might be a good time right here to catch him because if it's down the back, the horsepower will win out. Yep. Rowe's going to make an easy move to the inside of York here. That'll leave just the 83 and the 20. There could still be a chance for the 99 and the 84. They start battling out front of Young and Fink and then start spicing it up. There we go. Just as I say that. Here comes Fink again, who has the quicker car, I think. Eight laps to go there at the line. And just think, Fink, every time he makes a move, it hurts him. Doesn't really help Flickinger. And it allows the 99 and the 84 to really close up. But Fink is still there. Fink to the inside in turn two. Or, I mean, turn three. Wow, that was it's awful. Not gonna, it's all good. It's not going to matter, though, because I think what's going to happen is Fink's going to clip the apron into one, two, and Flickinger is going to get a run. The tires seem to be really eating up for Dylan Young. It's over two seconds of fall off now. Fink will clip the apron as you foresaw. Flickinger is getting a bit of a run, but it's going to get tight. And both of them fall back to Dylan Young. Well, don't look now, but Rowe will probably gain about four to five tenths if they keep this up. Look at Fink's sender. But he gets tight. I the mean, they're both, they're both closing in three and four. Fink will pass Flickinger off the corner. Rowe and Tringali. 
Oh they've, my goodness. They've only got Nanako left. There it is. Four to five tenths. It is made up. Can Fink. Fink get underneath? Yeah, nope. It's going to touch the apron. It's going to give Dylan Young an outside run. And meanwhile, Tringali's Tring underneath row. Tringali is underneath row for position, but he can't get it to stick either. Man, this is going to get interesting. And Matthew oh, Logan we're is... we're going to get him. They're going to... I think they're going to get the 38. They might get the 25, too. Here comes Five Dylan Young. Five laps Yelling. to go. Fink looking for the lead at the line. Dylan Young's going to hold it on the outside as we think the 34 is going to clip the apron. Does he yep. clear Dylan Young? No, he doesn't. But does Dylan Young get tight on corner exit? Oh, he just does. They're even. Oh, Flickinger's flicking. giving the draft to the two car. Smart. Here comes Rowe. Now he looks low. Fink will clear for the race lead. Will Flickinger follow through? He does. Dylan Young's tires are shot. It's going to come down to those laps. It could come down, ironically, to the 38. Four laps to go. Dylan's led most of the race, but the tires are not on his side. Flickinger hits the apron. That could be all she wrote. Flickinger fighting back. Or rather, Dylan Young fighting back. Alexander Rowe will peek to the inside of Nanako. Tringali will follow through as Flickinger clears Dylan Young. Do the 99 or the 84 have enough time and grip to get by Young, Flickinger, and then catch Fink? It's three laps left. We know the 84's got the tires. The problem is he's in a whole lot of traffic, and uh, he just hits the apron again. That might be all she wrote there, but at the front. At the front, it's Tyler Fink, but Matthew Logan could still get in his teammate's way. But just look at the tire difference between Roe, Tringali, and Young. It is astronomical almost. I think Roe's going to go underneath and take a peek. Yep. Three, two laps to go, rather. Oh, and Roe got a bad checkup or something. I don't know if any of these guys can make any more moves. All their tires are shot. I don't know if that third... Oh, here comes Flickinger. He's making a little katan. Flickinger over six tenths back. We're coming to the white flag. Tringali underneath row again, this time in three and four. But it's Tyler Fink leading them to the white. Tringali's trying to go for that podium. And a one and two. They're not going to catch any lap cars. This is the race. Is, oh, Tringali yeah. gets by row for fourth. He'll get by Dylan Young, I think, for third. He's got the tire strengths to do it, but it's just little too late to go for this win. Tyler Fink in the three and four. He won last time. All the way back at Rockingham for his first career win. And today in the playoffs, he kicks it off with a bang. Tyler Fink wins at Charlotte. And that'll lock Tyler Fink into the round of 12. Teammate Matthew Logan ended up not being a factor after all. Adam Flickinger will come home second. Tringali third. Row fourth. Dylan Young fifth. Alex Gray made it all the way up to sixth. Seth Cole seventh. Kalano eighth. Shearer ninth. And Corey Williams will round out the top ten. As we look at your full finishing results here, Jonathan Zorlin 11th. Quinton Moore 13th. Austin 17th. Fitzwater 18th. With Matthew Logan 24th out of your playoff drivers left on the racetrack. And a ton of drivers in that one caution taken out of this thing. What could have been holes to be dug out of here going into Memphis and Chicagoland. Well, that'll do it for me and Vince here at Charlotte. And we will see you guys next week for the Jerky Pro Truck Series playoff opener at Memphis. As well as the second race for the Digital Storm Cup Series playoffs. So until then, it's been me and my boy Vince, and we'll see you all next time. Signing off.